Hello everyone, Urban Nerd back again with four less teeth. Got my wisdom teeth out and uh, try to get through it. Had some video ideas made up last week and then that happened. So at least I'm back to talking now, a little bit better. And I really want to get some of these videos made. So let's get right into it. Today on the agenda, I want to show you how to set up our project. Uh, we're pretty much going to be setting it up how we set up the Xamarin as far as like how the layout goes and how things will function. But first, I came into the ran across this problem where you try to run the app and then uh, it says to run it again. So pretty much what happens is it seems the Node.js server will time out and then the run Android will uh, complete, try to run the app, but the Node.js server is not running anymore. So pretty much if you ever come across this where it says to just run it again, just retype it, run it, the Node.js server should pop up and the run Android should load in time for it to actually build for the device. And just like that, we have the app loaded back up with the React Native um, default setup. So getting into our project, we're going to need a couple NPM packages. So you can go ahead and close the Node.js server. We're going to need React Navigation, React Native Gesture Handler, and React Native Elements. And there will be a command line to copy and paste that I have right here. And this is going to take a while. These are some pretty large packages. So to pause the video, and we'll get right back into it. Okay, our packages have been installed. And if you noticed, we had the hyphen hyphen save. What I'll do is I'll save it in our dependencies. So if you happen to pull this project down from GitHub, you can type in npm i and it'll install any package that we use throughout this entire tutorial, just to make it a little bit easier. So first, we're going to take all of this React Native default code in the app.js. We're going to delete it. We don't need it. And we're going to go over to our main project and we're going to create a new folder. And I'm just going to call mine screens. So we're going to be creating multiple screens. And I'm going to add a new file under screens called masterscreen.js. This will be where we put all of our code for our list view, essentially, for all of our other screens where we have the tutorials on, where it'll be buttons, labels, um, navigation, and whatever else I include or whatever you guys want to see. So let's head back to app.js and we're going to have to set up a, a couple things. We're going to have to import the create stack navigator. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, we want create stack navigator and we also want the create app creator container. Now, because I have prettier, it's going to underline all this in red. So just ignore that for now. And then we're going to also import that master screen from our screens folder, just like that. Next, we're going to create a constant of the, we'll call it main navigator. And this is where we're going to create our stack navigator that's going to go inside of our app container. So create new stack navigator, and we're just going to call it master with the screen, uh, master screen. Once again, it's highlighted in red because of prettier. We'll fix that in a little bit just so it doesn't, because it does bother me. But we're going to create another constant app equals create app container this time. And it's going to be our main navigator. Then we're going to have to export the default app. Just like that. So let's fix these prettier problems. All right, now it's looking really good. Save it. And this is all we had to do to create our screen that'll pop up. So let's actually create the screen now. We're going to need a couple things from React. So import React. 
And uh, we're also going to need the component. Component will have to be in the curly braces. Component from React. And we're going to also uh, import some different functionality from React Native. So we're going to need text view touchability touch touchable opacity and style sheet so we can make this look pretty nice now a lot of this might not make sense so far but you can just follow along and in later tutorials we will be explaining more of this in depth so then we're going to create a class just call a list and we're going to extend the component Now we're going to have to create a state, and in our state we're going to have names. Then these names will be what appears on the list. So let's go ahead and create state and create a new variable called names. It's going to be a list of objects. And we're going to have an ID, zero for the first one, name, um, call it, it's going to be a string, so first. And then we're going to have also path, but path will play a role later on. We can just actually have whatever in that. And this does have to be in curly braces. So go ahead and put that stuff in the curly braces. There's all the prettier problems once again. All right, and then let's create another one. ID of one, name is second, path, second, and let's create a third one. ID of two, name, real creative this time, third, and the path also third. More prettier problems, of course. Our state names are created, so we're going to have to create a render function. And in the render, this is where we're going to return um, our HTML or React JS HTML uh, sort of template. So you're going to need a view, and we're just going to do this dot state. So we're going to be referencing our state and the names that we just created, names, plural, dot map. And inside here, we're just gonna do item and index, but we won't really use index. And that is going to be a function. And this is where we're gonna use the touchable opacity. We're gonna type in, we're gonna have different things such as key equals the item ID. We're going to have style, which we'll get into that in just a, a little bit. Uh, we'll just say styles dot styles dot um, list container. And then we're going to have an on press function. And we will also get back to this in just a little bit. Next, we're going to have our text. So text. And then we'll have another style for this as well. Styles dot, what does it say, text. Well, on press is a little upset, so let's just get back to that. We're just going to type in like alert and then item dot name. That's fine. What is this so upset about? Oh, uh, we forgot. I forgot that. There we go. Now we're back on track. And inside of our text, we're going to have the curly braces again and item.name. Maybe my formatting was right. 
All right, so now let's fix all these prettier problems. Yours might not do this. I need to turn that off somewhere. And this is going to be the view that we render. So after this, we're just going to export default list because our class is list. And now let's get into these styles. So we're going to create a, a const of styles down below, which is going to equal that style sheet we imported. And we're going to be creating a new one. So in here, this is pretty much just CSS styling um, for a list container. Uh, I already created a couple before, a couple styles. So I'm just going to be copying that. I'll have a padding of 10. Margin top of three, background color of FFF, a, and we're going to align items to the center. We actually need quotation marks around FFF. Um, let's turn this prettier off now. Okay, I pretty much just disabled it for this file because I'll just have to deal with it. And for our text, styles.text, we're going to add down below and we're just going to have the color as the 000 for black. Go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and run on our Android device. I'm not gonna lie, debugging React Native really sucks. Now it's asking for the React Navigation Drawer. I don't know how many more things it's gonna ask for, so uh, I'll get back to you guys whenever it stops asking and the app actually runs. And we are back. Oh, uh, that took a little bit, and whenever it hit 100%, I think I shed a tear. So here we go, here's the app. First, second, third, works just as intended. And I think that's just really unfortunate about this. Like what I was dealing with before is it's not the code. It's just React doing its own thing. So now I'm going to show you a, a pretty cool feature of React at least. Um, let's add this above our render. We're going to add a, a static. And it's going to be called navigation options so this is going to actually set the title we're going to call this just main page but that needs to be in quotations main page save this and we can go back over to our android app and double tap r and it will reload and there we go main page is right there so that's going to be it for this tutorial stay tuned for the next one don't forget to subscribe down below, show me that you guys want to see more of this, and I'll see you in the next one.